Well, Carl, it's um, time has come for you to leave Stockport County. It's, it must be a, a, a mixture of feelings for you. Tell us first of all what it is that you're doing, why you're leaving. Yeah, it's uh, at this point in time, just something I've talked talk long and hard about. Um, yeah, I've been offered a job over in in New Jersey, uh, coaching, and it's quite a good opportunity for me. I've I've had my injuries and I've had two operations on my groin, and it's. Um, it's just not easy enough. It's you know I've I'm, I've been playing at seventy percent for the past two years. It's something sort of like I've been on my mind for a long time. So yeah, it's uh, I think it's time to kind of hang up my boots and go on a go on a new adventure coaching. Tell us about the opportunity you've got out there and, uh, and what it involves. Yeah, it's uh, I went to college over there, so I've got a lot of a lot of friends over there, and um, I've been asked for the past three years now to. To go over and help coaching is in, in, in one of me one of my good friends is a um, company. It's called ATSC Advanced Total Soccer Coaching. Uh, he's offered me quite a good position in there and kind of being his right hand man and working with him himself. And it's it's just something that I've kind of had to take. Um, you know, if I did if I did carry on playing, I'd. I could only have two years in me. It's mm. it's that it's time to look look towards the future now. As you say, no strangers to the states. I think you're at Maryland, is that right? Yeah, I went to the university in Maryland. Um, I was there for three years, and it was great. It was great. You know, it was some of the best years of my life. And I come home, and it was it was a bit of a tough decision to come home. But I, I always wanted to try and give it a give it a go over here, and you know, I can't complain for the. The clubs I've played for, you know, Stockport being the biggest in my eyes, and it's um, it's been great. It's been great to represent the club. I was here when I was when I was 16, and it's great to be back. But uh, it's something I've just got to I've just got to do, you know. Tell us about that decision when you, when it finally becomes clear to you, you you don't feel you can play at 100. percent What's that decision like? How tough is that for a, a guy who's really not known much else other than football? Yeah, it's it's been very difficult. You know, it's. It's it's it has been on my mind for for a couple of years, but I've just I've 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 tried to play through it. Um, you know, it's it's devastating for me. It, the, the only thing I want to do is play football. You know, if I'm coaching it, I'll you know there's not there's nothing worse than standing on the sidelines coaching it when you could be playing yourself. But it, the time's right. Um, I've spoke to I've spoke to the club and they, they've given me the full back and so. It was, it was, it was very difficult, and but it's, it's just something. It's, it, it's, it is just something I can't turn down. You go out on a high, though, of course. I mean, having won the title last season as well with with Barrow, it's um, you've got some great memories. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, I've, I've had some great years. I've, you know, I've had some great years at Southport. I had a great year last year winning the league at Barrow, and this, this is, this has been a great year for me in terms of the, the lads I've met and the, the fans I've played in front of. You know, it's a massive club, and I do think I do think they'll go on and win the league next year on the gym, hundred percent. And it's it's upsetting to not be a part of that, but you know, I'll, I'll I'll be fully behind the behind the lads. I'll be following everything on Twitter and watching videos on Facebook. So, but you know, it's it was just one of them decisions, and it's it's difficult, you know. But it's the time's right. Yeah. The time's right for myself and. I wish Stockport all the best for the, the rest of the season and you know I'm I'm fully confident that they'll they'll give the fans what they want next season. The gaffer's spoken very highly of you today, I spoke to him privately and, and a, a ringing endorsement from, from the gaffer before you leave and that's nice to hear as well. Yeah, you know, I, I, I was a bit worried, you know, when I when I did speak to the club because I didn't know how they'd react to it, but I, I couldn't have asked for anything more. They've been absolutely brilliant and you know, I spoke to John uh, John Jim myself last night and you know, he's he's wished me every bit of luck, and he's told me if it doesn't work out, that there's a place here for me. And you know, it's great to hear. It it, 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 it makes you makes you want to go over there and know you've always got something to come back to if it doesn't work out. But fingers crossed, it does. And Saturday, still to come, of course, another game yet. Um, that could be an emotional afternoon for Carl Edgham, couldn't it? Yeah, it will. It will be. You know, it's I've got all my mates coming, and 
they're all they're all excited for the game. I just hope we can I just hope we can we can we can go and win the game and I can I can play my part because you know it's it, it's a privilege to play in front of in front of in front of the fans that that turn up week in week out and yeah it's going to be a sad day so. Well, listen, I know the fans are going to give you a great send-off. Thanks for everything you've done for Stockport, Cows. It's been great watching you. Yeah, I appreciate it.